Hi guys, so we're going to discuss the value of each trim and the benefits behind it. The Fisker Ocean has four trims to it, which are the Ocean 1, Extreme, Ultra, and Sport. Each trim has a lot of details and spec of what it comes with, what options are available, drivetrain, battery size, and etc. But we're going to break it down for you simply and focus on the main selling points of each trim. The Ocean One is basically a fully loaded Ocean Extreme where you don't have to pay extra for the different color choices, wheel size, seat color, and optional extras and packages. The Ocean Extreme and the Ocean Ultra both use the larger hybrid battery with more than 100 kilowatt hour usable battery capacity as well as dual motor all wheel drive. The difference is that the Extreme gets you solar panels on your roof. The Ocean Sport uses a smaller battery that should give you approximately, and this is not confirmed, but just my best guess, a 75 kilowatt hour usable battery capacity. It is a single motor and front wheel drive. Now with the Ocean One being a limited edition model to 5,000 reservation holders, you would think it's a good deal compared to the Extreme. And the truth is, it is. But when reservations were closed for the Ocean 1 and Fisker released the package for the Ocean, suddenly the Ocean 1 became very desirable. Compared to the Extreme Trim, the Ocean 1 is basically the Extreme Trim with the most options and packages included. So obviously you would go for the Ocean 1 if you were in the market for the Extreme. But of course, the Ocean 1 has been sold out for a very long time. Actually, as of right now, the only trim you can order, if you haven't pre-ordered yet, is the Extreme trim. The Ocean One will only have 5,000 ever made, and the less expensive trim, the Ultra and the Sport, are unavailable for pre-order right now because those trims already have their allocations sold out for the near future. And when the Ultra and Sport trims are available for purchase again, most likely there will be a price adjustment. The Ocean One model boasts several unique standard features including 22 inch wheels, Ocean One badging, and a special interior option called Mali Blue. This option offers indigo equal sway upholstery with subtle teal accents that are tastefully incorporated throughout the interior. The startup screen will also identify one of the 5000's vehicle sequence numbers. Now, if you're ordering or planning to order an Extreme trim, it starts at $68,999. You could get the same specs as the Ocean One, which is 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds, dual motor all wheel drive, and 360 miles of range. However, you would have to pay extra for different color wheels or even seat trims. Let's talk about some of the perks of the Extreme. First off, paint colors. All colors of a gloss coat that would normally cost $1,500 on the Ultra and the Sport would only cost $975 on the Extreme. All packages such as Performance and Winter Package comes as standard. Field Tech comes standard or you could pay for the option for Alcantara Fosway, which is a synthetic textile made from a blend of polyester and polyurethane in white or blue seats. The Ultra Trim starts at $49,999 with all-wheel drive dual motors providing 340 miles of range and 0 to 60 miles per hour at 3.9 seconds. Just a tad slower than the Extreme, but still has all-wheel drive dual motors. The powertrain hardware between the Ultra and Extreme should be exactly the same with the difference 0 to 60 times and range difference being most likely artificial to justify the huge difference in price of the two trims. Gloss coat paint colors will be $1,500 and the special matte colors will be $4,500. In the Ultra, the two packages does not come as a standard option. Instead, the performance package will now be available as a monthly subscription and the winter package will be priced at $1,295. It does not offer a solar option for this trim, so the roof instead will be all glass, but it could still slide open. As for the interior, you have three options to choose from, which are the Black Abyss, which is the free option. Then we have the Black Abyss Plus, which is a synthetic leather version. I felt this interior and it was extremely soft to touch. I highly recommend upgrading to this. And lastly, we have the sea salt interior, which costs an extra $5,000, absolutely gorgeous, where it even makes the interior look more special. 
Starting at $37,499, the sport trim runs on a single motor front wheel drive with a smaller battery, making it the lightest and most economical and efficient model. Its 0 to 60 time is estimated to be 6.9 seconds with 250 miles of range. As for paint colors and wheel options and packages, the pricing will be the same as the Ultra. The roof is glass, but it does not open. The interior choices will be Black Abyss for free and Black Abyss Plus for $2,500, which is the same price as the Ultra. I highly recommend upgrading to the Black Abyss Plus if you want a more premium look and feel. So which trim should you buy? Assuming you didn't or weren't able to get an allocation for the Ocean 1, if you love the Fisker Ocean and want to be the first owners driving this car on the road, you should get the Extreme because you'll most likely be taking delivery of this car the quickest since Fisker wants to produce more Extremes because they have higher margins for the company. But even besides the point of exclusivity for being an early adopter of the Ocean, this is an extremely competent and competitive EV. It can actually work as a single car that a family could need. Ample passenger room, decent trunk space, the best range of any EV SUV on sale right now, solar panels that would generate extra range for you. The charging speed is also pretty great as well. You could go from 10% to 80% in a little over 30 minutes, which basically equates to about 250 miles of range replenish in 30 minutes, making it an EV that you could realistically do cross-country trips in. It won't be on the same level as a Taycan when it comes to sheer charging speed or as efficient as a Lucid Air's mileage efficiency, but it's good enough if you want to go on a long distance road trip that will require multiple DC fast charging stops. If you want a one car EV and the best value Fisker Ocean, then it would definitely be the Ocean Ultra. It basically has the same battery and drivetrain as Extreme, so you could get the class leading range and efficiency for EV SUVs, but it's $20,000 cheaper. And the only option that you would lose paying $20,000 less that's worth talking about is really the solar panel, which obviously is nice, but is really only worth getting if you live somewhere that is sunny all year round. Plus, if you really love your cars and keep them clean, in pristine condition, you may not like the idea of not keeping your EV garage but having to leave it parked outside so it can generate the maximum electricity from its solar panel. Last but not least, the Ocean Sport. The Ocean Sport is actually an extremely interesting trim because it offers potentially even better value than the Ocean Ultra if you have a second car. The reason why I say this is because the smaller battery and range of the Sport, it's not going to be the best option if you want to drive somewhere far where you need to DC charge your car multiple times. It's not impossible, but you'll definitely be spending more time planning your charging stops and charging a bit slower compared to the larger battery trims. But if you have a second car that you could rely on for your longer cross-country trips and you plan on using your Ocean Sport mainly around town for your daily commute, then the Sport is actually the best value out of all four trims because of how low the MSRP is. Compared to the more expensive trims, you'll lose a motor and have a smaller battery, but it doesn't matter. If you charge at home every day, 99% of you will never drive more than 200 miles a day for your daily commute. Single motor EVs are always more efficient compared to their dual motor counterparts, so you'll spend less on electricity too. Last but not least, it should be the best driving model because it will be at least a few hundred pounds lighter due to having one less motor and a smaller battery. For those of you thinking you need all-wheel drive because you live somewhere that snows, Snow tires are all you need. Alright, that's it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And see you guys next time.